In this video, I'd like to discuss the anatomy of a CSS style sheet. So over here in my style.css, you'll see that I've got something, it's sort of a block of code. And this particular block of code is called a rule set. So from lines two all the way to line four, that is a rule set. And I'll put a comment in here. What follows is a rule set. Okay, now there are some different components to this rule set. The first component is this over here, which is called a selector. So in this case, we are selecting the body tag of our HTML, and if we look over here, there is only one body tag on the page. Okay, inside these curly braces is where we have a series of properties and their respective values. So I'll put a little comment in here. Property is followed by a colon, and then the value is going to be followed by a semicolon. So whatever the name of the property that we're trying to change is on the left, and then its associated value will be on its right. So I want to make a change here. I don't want the background to be blue. That's a little bit tough on the eyes. I'm going to change it to light gray. And if I save that and we check it in the browser, we'll see that our background has indeed changed to light gray. I also want to make a change to the font family as well. So I'm going to say font family and change this to sans serif. Okay, and then if I save that and check it in the browser, you can see that my text now looks blocky as opposed to with the serif font. And that's it. That's all we have to do to add some styling to our page is, again, we select whatever element or elements that we're looking for. And then inside the curly braces, we need to specify a series of properties and values that we want to change. So I want to change the background to light gray. I want to change the font family to sans serif.